Hello friends, how are you doing? In the video of today, we will learn together how to apply for visa for Paraguay step by step. In this video, we will be explaining the visa policy of this country, how to fill the application form, how and where to apply for the visa, all travel rules due to COVID-19, all the required documents that you will need while applying, and in the end, we'll ask you a question that we will discuss together in the comments. So make sure you watch this video till the end. But before we start, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and if you have any inquiry or question, please write it down there in the comment section below. If we will look together at the visa policy map of Paraguay, we will find that almost all the countries of uh, South America and all the countries of North America, almost all European countries, Russia, South Africa, United Arab Emirates, Australia, uh, Korea, and Japan, all these countries can enter uh, Paraguay without uh, any visa and there are some few countries that can enter with visa on arrival uh, like the Sultanate of Oman but for the rest of the world like the rest of the African countries uh, Cameroon, Congo, uh, Kenya, Tanzania, Egypt, um, Algeria and the other Asian countries uh, like India, Pakistan, Iran, uh, China, all these countries you need to apply for visa before traveling to Paraguay. So the first thing you need to do is to apply uh, for applying for the visa is to fill the application form. This is a sample of the visa application form that you will be needing while uh, traveling to uh, Paraguay. You just can download it from any uh, uh, from any site, for example, from uh, the embassy of Paraguay in Japan or any uh, country. So here you just need to fill your uh, here this part for your personal photograph and uh, for the rest you just need to fill your surname your name your personal details and after that you need to uh, give some details about your address and your family and your uh, personal uh, contact and then uh, some details about your trip to Paraguay when will you travel when will you uh, planning be planning to leave as a country and in the end you will need just to uh, sign this application form and to write also the date of the application and this application form along with all the required documents you will have to submit to the embassy of Paraguay in your country you just need to uh, google the embassy location in your country and you just need to go directly to the embassy along with all the documents that you are having so of course due to covid 19 there are some travel restrictions to uh to paraguay for example uh, you uh, should be vaccinated you should be fully uh, vaccinated for for fully, uh, fully vaccinated travelers they can enter paraguay uh, and travelers aged 18 years and older must be able to provide their full vaccination status by presenting evidence of the full vaccination and a name and date of birth and all your details must be uh, mentioned and uh, of course in case you are not vaccinated or uh, you will have to present uh, a negative BCR COVID-19 test and also before traveling uh, 20, at least 24 hours before entering the country you will need to fill the travel health declaration form online you just need to click over here this page will appear in front of you choose English and this is the travel health uh, information for uh, Paraguay you just need to fill it completely and in the end you have to submit uh, this form and those are the main regulations due to COVID-19 for Paraguay. So what are the travel documents that you need to prepare before applying for the visa? Speaking about your passport, your passport must be original and it must not be older than 10 years with at least 6 months of remaining validity and with at least 2 blank visa pages for the stamps. In many cases you will need also a passport photocopy. It might be one copy or more than one and it's preferred to be colored and both data page and photo page must be shown if separated. In some cases you might be required to photocopy every single page of 
of your passport but in general only the data page and the photo page are the needed ones speaking about the personal pictures you will need at least two personal pictures sometimes only one is needed other times three pictures are needed but in general they are only two they must be new not older than six months it should be clear and show your full face and it is preferred to be with white background and you should give normal and neutral expressions no head or face covering is acceptable except for religious reasons speaking about the visa application form in general cases you need only one copy of the visa application form but sometimes you might be required to submit two copies or even three visa forms are different from a country to another in general cases you should print it and fill it manually but many countries now are providing their application form in an online platform so you can fill the application form online and after that you can print it and sign it anyway for the application form you just fill it as we do in the video in most of the visa application processes you will be required to provide a proof of status for example if you are an employee you will have to provide a letter from your employer or from your HR department mentioning your name your work detail and your salary and both address and contact numbers should be mentioned also in that letter and all letters must have an original signature and a stamp but in case you are the owner of the company or you run your own business then your commercial registry and your tax card must be presented but if you are a student in a school or a college an enrollment letter should be provided from your university or your school in some certain cases you might be applying from a country different than your own country at that moment you will need to provide a proof of a legal status which is a certificate of legal residence in this country and in some cases a valid residence visa for this country can be also accepted you will also need to provide a proof of sufficient funds which is a bank statement stating your balance for at least six months the original bank statement must show your name and should be signed and stamped by the bank representatives and remember that cash will not be accepted as a proof of fund you should also provide a flight reservation it could be an initial booking but in some minor cases you will need to provide a confirmed booking and remember that this flight reservation must include a return ticket so let me show you a short tutorial in how to book your flight and we will use this site skyscanner.net all right starting with our site this part is a little bit boring but we will see what we can do first you have to select what type of uh, flight you want a return flight like two ways going and returning or one way flight or multi-city and let me show you an option if you would like to change the language you can change it from here you can choose your language you can choose your country you can choose your currency whatever fits you all right so assuming that you have for example a travel plan you're moving between different cities so you can choose this multi-city option you can add different cities here and you can adjust your dates date of arrival date of departure and you can book all these tickets at once which is a very great option but let's just assume you are moving from only one city to another and you want to have a return of flight going and turning back so uh, assuming you are going from istanbul of course you can choose whatever you want if it's an istanbul or surat or whatever airport it is and returning what is your uh destination where are you going you're going to delhi or you are going to tbilisi or or whatever georgia sorry georgia tbilisi and here you will have to choose your departure date and here you'll have to choose your return date and here you have to choose your cabin class are you going on economy class premium economy business class first class or what and you're an adult okay you have any children with you all right and here okay now you can search flights once you click search flights all the flights will appear in front of you you can choose whatever flight you want you can go with the best or the cheapest or the fastest but it's almost the same here but of course the price will change depending on the destination and also it will change depending on the date so let's click this uh, flight for example and now will appear in front of us let's check the details of this flight and for this flight you can book it from different sites you can uh, book it directly from skyscanner or you can go to any of those sites to book it but yeah we will book it from skyscanner it is the cheapest anyway let's click book but wait before booking let's see the details of each flight okay it's a direct flight from istanbul to tbilisi and it's a direct flight from Tbilisi to Istanbul so by clicking on these arrows you can see the details of each 
uh, flight let's click book and here you can see the dates okay you're going departure okay going returning and the date and now click book so once you click booking your trip appears in front of you and the total price appears in euros why because they set their prices here in euro in sky scanner so now you can see the details okay you have one cabin page you have one checked page now let's click next and see more about the details and the checkout so in the end what you need to do is to add a contact details which is an email and a phone number and after that you will have to add a traveler which is your name your middle name your last name and in the end you will have to click bay and by clicking bay you can do your payment and congratulations you booked your flight you will also need to provide a proof of accommodation it could be a confirmed hotel reservation or an invitation from a host in this country or an invitation from an organization you are visiting in this country for a hotel or hostel an initial booking is acceptable but in some minor cases you might need to provide a confirmed booking and anyway the name of your hotel must be mentioned and the address and the contact number but in case you are invited by a person either the letter of invitation should be mailed directly to the embassy or to be submitted by you are combined by a copy of the passport of that inviting person there are different sites that you can use to book a hotel or a hostel but let me show you a fast tutorial how to book your hostel from booking.com so this is our site booking.com first you have to specify where are you going let's say i'm going to istanbul i want to have istanbul okay i'm traveling okay for example check in okay let's say at that date and check out let's say at that date and i want one adult one room and let's click search all right by clicking search okay they are giving me all the locations and they are giving me the price here in egyptian pound let's assume i would like to change my currency i will change my currency from here i will choose usd dollars and now the prices are here usd dollars for the full period those things in this side will help you for your choice you can filter by your budget or your popular filter or health and safety whatever interests you more star rating whatever it is but there is an interesting option here also that you can arrange all of these things depending on price if you are uh, a low budget traveling person so we can rearrange it according to price lowest first and let's see the price lowest first for the full period and you can see that we are having very good prices in somehow okay good quality also we can see also we can check for better quality okay still good price for very good quality let's check availability okay i like that one it looks old and only five beds left at this price so you are booking a bed in dormitory and one bunk bed see availability once you click see availability the whole apartment or the whole place appears in front of you you can see all the details of this place and you can here start choosing the availability like you can like change the dates and the most popular facilities here that non-smoking rooms free wi-fi 24 hours front desk terrace and heating also because sometimes istanbul gets very cold they are also giving you here some selections like for example bed in male dormitory room and you can see all the details here like okay air conditioning free wi-fi shower toilet uh, heating hair dryer and of course if you want any other option like comfort double or twin room or classic double or twin room or standard travel room whatever you want but let's just go for the cheapest and select only one bed you can select of course more than one bed and they give you different things like free cancellations and no prepayment needed you can pay directly 
add that properly so if you in case you would like to cancel it they are giving you a specific time and a specific date in that date till that date you are free to you can cancel this booking for free just click i will reserve once you click i will reserve here you are filling your details they are giving all the booking details it is for four nights and this uh, price is 35 dollars and here you will have to enter your details all your details and bid in mail remitter room okay you'll have to give your full name and if you have any special request or something and also here give your arrival time so you have just to review all these parts and in the end you will click final details by clicking final details you will review again all your details and you will confirm your booking once your booking is confirmed you will receive an email in your email like that stating the check-in details as a check-out detail as a duration of a stay the phone number and the address of the place and all the details and this is the page that you will have to print and take with you to the embassy while applying for the visa many countries also especially the schengen area countries require you to provide a traveling insurance and you have to be careful and to apply through the companies that are accepted officially in these countries for example in case for schengen area countries there are some certain specifications for this travel insurance like the insurance coverage must be at least thirty thousand euros and in general case you can apply for this insurance online now let's look together as a travel insurance company those are some travel insurance companies you can use any of those websites to apply for as a travel insurance but since I know that travel insurance is a little bit confusing for most of people I selected two companies and we will see together how to apply for travel insurance through those two companies applying for travel insurance is quite confusing for many people but here i selected the site europeinsurance.eu and let's see how to apply for travel insurance first you have to select your main destination in europe which is i selected france the start date the end date let's say you're just staying for one month and you want this insurance for one month and here you write your date of birth then get a quota okay so now there are two types of travel insurance the first one is basic and it costs 19 uh, the 19 euros per month and it covers more than 60 thousand euros which is required because for travel insurance you have to apply for something more than or equals to 30 thousand euros so i will select this one and here if you want to extend but just let's keep it like that for this basic one i will select it over here and now i will have to fill my details my the insured person my name and the policy holder also if it is the same person though the same also details my own details and important statements just some statements and in the end you will get to the payment so this travel insurance uh, which will cover more than 60 thousand euros for one month it's just only 19 euros let's check another site which is axaschengen.com which is quite expensive uh, site and here they give you different periods like for Schengen low uh, cost Schengen Europe travel Schengen multi trip get a quota okay so for the prices here okay let's first you need to click get a quota over here for the cheapest one okay and here they will ask you the Schengen low cost um, they will ask you about the start date and the end date of your travel so my first date is this one all right 12 and my last date let's say will be 11th of april also for one month and this one for 31 days and it's a little bit it's not a little bit expensive it is expensive and it covers uh, only up to 30 thousand euros but you know the difference is sometimes about um the rate of the company and uh, also uh, the categories they are uh, covering in the travel insurance but here i'm just showing you how to oh, choose how how to apply because this is because choosing the category uh, the options is something depending on you but 
many people are just having some problems what is the travel insurance how to apply through the travel insurance so all these other details i will leave to you i'm just showing you how to apply through the site and what is the real cost uh, of the travel insurance by saying 30 southern hours we don't mean that you should have this balance in your bank or to prove that you have it because some people think uh, so those who are not really having experience with travel insurance then here you click continue and after you click continue you click here for the subscriptions you will have to fill all your details and after filling your details you will um, make your payment and in the end you will get a confirmation of your travel insurance and that's how you apply for travel insurance through this website